Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Turn and Burn. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by, I believe, just Jessica. Yep. And I like to focus on three categories of my collection in this project. My deluxe size beauty and skincare items, body care, etc. My foil samples, as well as my perfume samples. And I talk about the ones that I finished, what I'm still working on, if I have anything in the queue for my like my deluxe size samples. And then I pull new items and share with you what I have pulled. So we're gonna start with deluxe size samples. I will leave timestamps down below. I realized in my last video, my timestamps were messed up. So sorry about that, if you noticed. Anyway, let me share with you first off what I finished. So not as like a bunch, not as much stuff as I finished last month, but last month I think it was two months worth of stuff. So I actually have five items here. The first four are what I was working on last month. So the first thing I have is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is fine, I enjoyed it. I don't feel like I need it, but I, I didn't mind it either. Next from Herbivore, I have the Cloud Jelly Vegan Collagen and Tremella Plumping Hydration Serum. I love this serum, it's one of my favorites. I will, I think I'll end up purchasing a full size of this because I really do enjoy it. I have two perfumes. The first one is one I was working on last month. This is Gucci Bamboo. I've had this in here a long time and it's finally finished. Yes, did not enjoy it, would not purchase the scent. I wanna say I layered it with something else, but now I can't remember what. And this one, you guys. I finished a hand cream. The Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Cream, it's finished. Oh my gosh, I've been really, really, really focusing on this one. It's all done. Yay, all gone. I have one item from the queue that I finished. This is the Giorgio Armani My Way Perfume. So I'm so happy this one is also done. Wait, there we go. Yes. I've had both of those. I think the My Way hasn't been around as long, but the Gucci one would have been around for a long time. All right, so items that I am still working on. I have four here. I haven't really been... I haven't really worked on a lot of this stuff because I was like, oh, I'm gonna be traveling like three three week, three out of four weeks in September and I literally am gonna travel one week next week and that's it. So my travel plans changed a lot. I thought I was gonna travel also in August, at the end of August. So I need to pull this stuff out and work on in my everyday rotation. So this is priority. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Net Repair Eye Serum. I've had this around a long time. I need to finish it. From Belief, I have the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I have started to use this, but I have not touched it. And it'll be with me whenever I travel next week, but I probably will pull this out at some point and try to finish it. Next, from Sabon, I have the Refresh Hand Mist. Now, I have I think I've used this once or twice, maybe. Not much, but I finished another hand mist, like, I, antibacterial spray that I was working on. So this is next. It smells really good. This is in Patchouli Lavender Vanilla. Um, you know, I smell the alcohol, but the scent is really nice. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it the way it's intended. We'll see. And then the last thing is I have sprayed this, I think once. This is the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine Perfume. So once I finished the My Way perfume, I pulled this out. So I will try to focus on this one. Once I finished My Way, I was really trying to work on my samples and I need to kind of go back to doing a normal rotation. I was really wanting to get those two perfumes out and I had another perfume I was working on another project. Now I do need to do like an actual rotation because I've got some other scents that are in projects that I need to use here and there. So anyway, I don't think this will be out in the next month, but maybe the month after that. Moving on to my queue. I have a healthy queue right now. Healthy, healthy. I'm going to try to break this up into like the type of product it is. So I'm going to move this one into my like items I'm working on. This is a hand cream from Skylar and Scent Coral. So I think this is going to take me a long time to finish, but I am going to move this into everyday rotation. I have... 
two other hand creams I'm working on, I think. Yeah, two other hand creams I'm working on, and then I have two other ones in projects. So this one's gonna be used kind of here and there. I may end up putting this one in my purse just to have something in my purse when I need it. Okay, I have two shower gels. The first one is by Molten Brown. It's in, in the scent Infusing Eucalyptus. This smells lovely. I am working on, I have like three or four shower gels kind of like open. I'm working on one now that's kind of a summer scent. And then I've got two others that I know I've cracked into, but I'm gonna save one for next spring. So maybe when I finish the one I'm working on, I will focus on these two to get them rolled out because they won't take very long to finish. The second one I have is by Sabon. It's the shower oil in rose tea. And now that I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I have one more. I was like, I have one more, it was hiding. So this one, you know, it's a lovely product. It smells nice. The third one that I have that I was like, this is hiding, it's the, L'Occitane shower oil, the almond shower oil. So I'm going to try to, once I finish that shower gel, I'm gonna focus on these three. Because again, I don't have many like trips coming up. I have one in October. So I'm, and that's a longer trip. So I may be able to get like one of these finished on that trip. So I may save one, but I wanna finish at least two. I do have two body moisturizers I think that's it from hemp's the blackberry and lemongrass moisturizer I'll probably save this one for my longer trip and then I have from Josie Marin the whipped argan oil in the unscented version and this one I'm trying to think how's my I have a lot of moisturizers I'm working on too but maybe I can alternate the next the next item that I pull in We'll see. This is really a, the best product for me in the winter, so I may end up waiting and holding off and working on that one in the winter. The last body product I have is this body scrub from Sabon. It's in patchouli, lavender, vanilla, and this one will go with me on my trip in, I feel like this leaked. Like, I don't think there's very much oil left in here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll use it. I'll take it with me on my trip to trip in August. All right, I have one perfume remaining, except for, of course, the one I'm working on, but the one I have in my queue is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose perfume. So I will put this into an atomizer. I think what I'm gonna do is work on finishing this one first, the Atelier one, and then I'll roll in rose because I think this one's a better one for right now the atelier and this one's a better scent for me in the winter fall winter like late fall winter okay I have one mask this is the Sabon floral mask gelée, and I'm trying to think I'm working on my sheet masks right now and I have one or two other hydrating masks that are in projects so I'm not going to roll this into my everyday rotation quite yet. One eye cream, I'm actually going to pull this in to work on every day. This is Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I'm working on a product now that's not in a project, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this one in. This is one of my favorite eye creams. It's fabulous, and it takes me a long time to finish one of these little deluxe sizes, even though, I mean, it says that it has five mils. I feel like it's way more. One serum, this is by Bare Minerals, the Lo Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Serum. So this is a full size, I'm working on, I'm working on like two serums that are in projects right now. So I don't think I'm gonna get to this anytime soon, which is fine, it can sit here for a little while. And then the last four are moisturizers. So I have the Philosophy Oil-Free Oxygenating Gel Cream. The Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. The Corez Nourishing Probiotic Gel Cream. And the Biosance Squalene and Omega Rich Cream. So my problem is, is that I have moisturizers, full size moisturizers I'm working on that are both in projects. And then I have like things that would be used after them. 
So I'm not gonna pull anything into my like everyday rotation quite yet. This one is the moisturizer that's currently in my travel bag. So I may, whenever I travel next, I may put this in there. But I do have another product in there that's a daytime moisturizer that's in my 100 Colorful Empties. So I really want to get that one finished. So it may just end up being this one that I take with me. And that's a day trip or like an overnight trip. So I'm not going to be gone for very long. But when I go on my trip in October, I'll hopefully be able to finish this and maybe the other one I'm working on and then I can roll some of these other ones into my travel pack. So let's see. Let me see what I'm going to do here. This is, again, this is in, this is in, this in the night and the Estee Lauder Eye Repair Cream. I'm going to pull in the Molten Brown Shower Gel, the Skylar Renewing Hand Cream, the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is roll in this Philosophy. This has the smallest amount of product, the Oil-Free Oxygenating Gel Cream. So that leaves me three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 items in my queue. This one's, okay, I have to, I have to talk through this. This is gonna wait a while. This, these two are waiting for me to finish the Molten Brown. This one I will be using in October, as well as the Body Scrub. So those are earmarked for something. I have these three additional moisturizers that I can't really use right now. I can't really use the serum right now. And I'm waiting to finish the Atelier to roll this in and then the mask I'm gonna go ahead and put that into rotation and try to get at least one use on between now and the next update so I'm gonna pull in five I'm gonna pull in five new products hopefully I'm hoping I, I will veto a shower gel and I will veto a moisturizer and hand cream because I've got to focus on other things. All right, so let me pull up Wheel of Names where I have all of my minis. Okay, we're pulling in five. Let's see what we get. It's still too bright, I think. Another shower gel. So I said no, <laughs> no to shower gels. So no to that one, no shower gels. I have three right now. Oh my God, why is it getting brighter? I told it not to do that. Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Ooh. You know what? That's fine. I can do that. I have a sleeping mask I'm working on, but I don't actually use it at night. I use it during the day, so that's fine. We can have, we can pull that one in. So that's one. Why is it getting brighter? Symbiosis London Ultra Rich Regenerating Night Treatment. I feel like that's a moisturizer. I think that's a moisturizer, so I'm gonna say no. We're still at one. Another serum. Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex in the seven mil size. I have this serum that I'm not gonna be able to get to for a while, and I use them the same way. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that one. Sorry, I, I know this is like a hot mess, but I'm trying to pull things in that I know I can actually like get to. I'm working on this one in a project right now, the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. So, no. Am I ever gonna find products? Okay, Paula's Choice C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. Wait. That's a moisturizer. Super boost. It's only three mils, but I, 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 I don't want moisturizers. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna renege on my idea or my, I'm vetoing. Lositon essential water toner. Okay, I can do that. That's two. Two. Number three, hopefully. Another moisturizer. Nope. It's like, the odds are against me. That was a pharmacy oil-free moisturizer. Skylar Winter Spirit. I think that's a perfume. So I will pull that in. That's 100 mils. 
I think that's supposed to be 10 mils. Okay, I'll leave it in. Hopefully it's not 100 mils and it's three mils. I don't think I have a full size of that. I don't remember how many that is. Fresh soy face cleanser. Okay, I can do that. Let me see how many I actually have. Water sleeping bat mask. The essential toner, water toner from L'Occitane. Skylar and Fresh. Okay, so I need one more. What a hot mess. Go. Sabon Dead Sea Mud Mask. Okay, I can do that because I don't have a lot of mud masks. Okay, perfect. Let me go grab these items and I will be right back. Okay, I found my stuff. <laughs> this took a little bit of time. From L'Occitane, I have the Essential Water Toner here. And this is good because I need something like this. I'm about to finish my hydrating toner, so this is perfect. From Fresh, I have the Soy Face Cleanser, and this is perfect too. I will go ahead and put this in my travel bag. I may be pulling a lot of these into like regular rotation. Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I will go ahead and pull this in. Hopefully I can start getting some use on it. And the Sabon Dead Sea Mud Mask. I think I mentioned I just finished a mud mask. Well, I didn't mention that. I just finished a mud mask, so I'm going to need one. So I'm going to put this into regular rotation. This will sit for a while. From Skylar, it's the Winter Spirit Perfume. This is aged plum, vanilla bean, and warm amber. That sounds nummy. Let's see. Beautiful. That is a beautiful fall winter scent. Oh my gosh. Wow. So those are the five items I'm rolling in. I am going, like I said, I'm going to go ahead, pull this in, pull this in. I'm going to pull all four of these in to regular rotation. So at least get some progress on them. Awesome. I'm so glad with these choices. All right. I'm going to clear things off and then we will talk about foil samples. Okay. Moving on to foil samples. I actually have most of the foil samples I finished are makeup related. I didn't finish a lot of skincare. I still have a several left here. I'll take this stuff with me when I travel and stuff, but let me share with you the ones I did finish. This was the Merit Complexion Perfecting Stick in Amber. I did use this as a bronzer and it's all finished. Yay. I'm so glad that's done. Another product I finished that was a cream bronzer. This was the Westman Atelier Bronzer Stick in Biscuit. And I did enjoy this. I think it's better for me like when I'm really fair, but I really did enjoy that product. I have the Dior Forever Foundation in 3N. The Liss Triple Fix Serum Foundation in MN5. And then the one, I think I may have finished this previously because it looks like it's been in my bin for a while, but I lost it or I didn't have it anyway. I did finish this Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. And then I finished two lip products. Hallelujah. I finished a red. Oh, there's a little bit there, but you know what? We're calling this done. I finished it. It's done. That was the Dior Rouge New Lipstick in 999. I've had that one open a long time. And then this was the Sephora Shine Lipstick in Lip in Love Spell. So I finished two lip products. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So those are all of my empties. Now I do have a couple of things I have been working on. Two other lippies, and I'm really close to finishing these. In fact, I may go ahead and roll in new lip products for these because I'm really close. So the first one is from YSL. It's the Slim Glow Matte and Lipstick in Insurgent Red, and I do have pan in this one. So I take this when I have a neutral look and I mix it with the next one I'm gonna show you. So I think I have like two uses of this left and I mix it with this. This is the Dior Couture Lipstick in the shade Miss, M-I-S-S. -S. So this one also has pan. You can see, well, you know, blister pack pan. So I think these are gonna be done. I'm gonna focus on finishing them within the next week. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and pull in four new lip products, which is unbelievable. I also have this Laura Mercier Velvet Matte 
Velvet Extreme Matte Lipstick in Boss. Wait, I'm showing you the back. <laughs> There's the front. Now I have been using this. The problem with this product right now is that it's very dry. You can see it's like a hockey puck. Well, it's not gonna stick out, but, or you can see it's kind of dry. It's pulling at the sides. So, I mean, I'm using it. Basically what I'll do is I'll take my finger and rub in there. I can still get product on my finger. And I am, I was mixing it with a pink, this pink love spell shade. And now that I don't have something good to mix it with, I hopefully I can find something in the four that I pick from. That'll be a good mixer with that one. Okay, moving on to the items I still have. I have two of these, or maybe I'll use one of these. Maybe. This is from Danessa Myricks. It's the Vision Flush. And I have Sweet Nectar and Bread and Butter. And I think you can, can you use this on your lips or eyes? I need to research. If I can use it on my lips, I may try mixing this one with that purple, we'll see. Then I have the Merit Foundation Stick in the shade Bisque. So we'll see how I end up using that. I have the NARS Intense Dual Intensity Blush in Panic. I have the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Big Bang. This is the other lip, well, these are two lip products I actually have. I may, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I was working on six. I used to only try to work on five at a time, so I guess I'll only pull in three. Yeah. From Too Faced, I have the Born This Way foundation in the shade Light Beige. And then I have the Rose Ink Blush, if I can get it in the shade, Cream Blush in the shade Azalea. So those are all the makeup items. Let me share with you the skincare items I still have. From Way, I have the Purifying Mud Mask. From The Bathing Garden, I have Salty Siren, which is a body scrub. I have the Swanky Body Butter in Mango, Coconut, Let Them Eat Cake, and Vanilla Bean. I think I think I had lost this and I just found it in my drawer. This is by Sun Summer Fridays. It's a CC Me Serum. I tell you, I was like, oh my God, that's where that is. And I don't have this one on my list, but I'm pretty sure I'd pulled this by Fresh with the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. I don't know. Believe True Cream Moisturizing Balm. L'Occitane Immortal Reset Serum. The La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream. From Drunk Elephant, the Proteiny Polypeptide Resurf Serum. Clarins Remove Radiance Exfoliating Powder. I need to remember to pull that one out and use it. Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. And then I have a second one of those. The Clarins Double Serum. Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Eye Sleeping Mask. And then I have the Pacifica Hydrogel Under Eye Patches. So this one is going to go with me on my trip, these eye patches. I'm going to use them for sure. I think the last, last time I did this, I had said this Avocado Melt by Glow Recipe and the Fresh black tea age delay eye concentrate we're gonna be put to the side and i was gonna pull extra items for them because i'm working on so many uh, under eye serums right now that are in projects i've got to focus on getting those done the rest of these i'm fairly confident i can get through fairly quickly i just you know i'll travel with these and hopefully get some of these finished so we're going to see I, that means i have let me count these up 13 14 15 16 17 18 19. so i'm gonna pull in seven new samples and i forgot to grab my bag i'll be right back we're gonna start with lip samples so i have this bag that has all of my lip samples in them so we're gonna pull three okay here we go one oh God. two I don't think that's right. <sighs> Three. This is a glam glow. I'll just set that one aside. So I need to grab one more. Three. So we have this Dior Rouge Liquid lipstick. And it has four shades here. So I'm going to pick 
We're going into fall. Oh, I'm not picking the red. I'm still working on a red right now. I did did my, did myself dirty by picking too much red. So I'm gonna pick this this shade here, this poison metal. That may be a bad choice too. Hopefully this is more like a single use product. I don't know. Anyway, there's that shade. There we go. I got it back in there. I went ahead and took out the brush. So I'll put this back in my bag. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. I have the Ilia Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. Yay. Okay, here are the shades. Something different. Well, so is the Dior, but this is like fun. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to choose, I want to say I own Memoir, which is this one. So I think I'm going to choose this one here, which is Runaway. Yeah, I'm going to do Runaway. All right, and then this is going back in. And then lastly, we have this Urban Decay Vice thing. At least this is the one that has all the colors, not just the dark ones. So I'm going to go with a light color to go with that purple. And I think what I'm going to choose is I'm going to go with Naked. Actually, let's go with this shade here, this really light shade. This is Gubby. All right, there we go. Gubby. I'll use it specifically with that Laura Mercier product. And this is going back in. All right. So we have Runaway, Poison Metal, and Gubby. All right, now we're going to pick five. What I said, how many did I say? Five? Seven, I think five, I think five foil samples. No, seven. <laughs> all right, I have all my foil samples in my Bath and Body Works bag. It's looking kind of empty, you guys. So I'm just gonna mix some things around in here. All right, we're gonna pick five items. One, oh wait. Oh, I forgot to mention, I am also working on, I have a brow product. Okay, I'll show it to you in a minute, but no brow products. It's somewhere here. I'll find it. Anyway, okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, three, six, and seven. Let's see. What did I get? Oh, the other, another NYX concealer, but I can't use these shades. So I'm going to set that aside and we'll pick another one. From Kiehl's, I have the Retinol Skin Renewing Micro Dose Serum. So that'll be good. I need a retinol for when I travel. I think, oh, this is the By Beauty Agave Lip Scrub. That looks kind of suspect, but we'll see. From Merit, I have this stick again, right? Complexion Perfecting Stick. Like, I've gotten so many of these. Okay, I'll, I'll choose cream. Cream's the lightest shade. It's the last one. Well, it's the last one I can use in here. The last, the other shade is Cacao but that's too deep for my skin tone. So there is the shade Cream. So I'll pull that in and that means this little thing is done. I have the, this again, I've pulled this a couple, several times. The Perfect Pair like foundation and concealer. So let me pull, I'm gonna go with Yukon, the shade Yukon. This is the foundation. I'm not gonna pull the concealer because I'm working on two concealers right now. Then I have another one of the Immortal Reset serums from Lostan. And lastly, I have a Mary Kay mask. This is a, let's see, what doesn't say what, it looks like a mud mask. You can kind of see, it looks like a mud mask. This is Energy Queen. So that's what I pulled in. Not bad. Oh, I need to pull one more because I only pulled six. I ended up not using that NYX concealer. No, really? Okay, I have this MAC Teeny Tiny In Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. This is going back in. Let me just make sure this isn't dry. That seems fine. It's a large wand though. There's probably not a lot of product in here. I mean, it'll take me a couple of uses and I'll be finished with this. So that's perfect. I'll pull that in. All right. That is everything for my foil samples. Hopefully next month I will have 
more finished than this time. That is my hope. We'll see. All right, let me clear this stuff off and we will get to perfume samples. Here is the brow pomade. I actually have this today. I'm wearing it today. I put some Duraline in here. Sorry, my camera moved. I don't know where I was. Anyway, I put some Duraline in here because it was really dry when I used it today. So hopefully I can get cracking on this one and make some good progress, if not finish it. Okay, I forgot about that one. All right, I'm happy to say I have six perfume samples I finished. The first one is Giorgio My Way, Giorgio Armani My Way. Then I that's I didn't mention this, but that's an okay perfume. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't I wouldn't buy a full size, and I say that I do have a sample or like a dossier version of that. So we'll see if I like if, if I enjoy using it long term. From Valentino, I have Born in Roma. I kind of don't remember this one. I think it was too floral. It's okay. From D Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby, I have something wild. I honestly don't remember this one. From Juicy Couture, I have Viva La Juicy. This one's fine. I don't feel like I need it. From Nest, I have Black Tulip. I do enjoy that perfume quite a bit. And lastly, from Ellis Brooklyn, I have Rose. I finally finished this one. I ended up mixing this one with Ellis Brooklyn's Amber. And that's how I finished that one up. I'm still working on Amber. I'm almost done with it. But yeah, that's how I ended up getting through that scent. So that's six, six samples. Done. Let me share with you what I still have. From Versace, I have Bright Crystal. From Ellis Brooklyn, I have A Price. From Giorgio Armani, I have C. I'll focus on this one next because it, it's close to being done. From Rag and Bone, I have Oddity. I shouldn't say close. It's about a third done. From Tom Ford, I have Orchid Soleil. I also sprayed this one once. So I'm going to set that one aside so I remember to use it. From Toka, I have Cleopatra. From Narciso Rodriguez, I have For Her. From Ellis Brooklyn, I have Fawn. And lastly, from Floral Street, I have Wonderland Peony. So let me see. I had finished six. I've been kind of wanting to roll in half of the amount that I finish until I get back down to 10. Because I try to work on 10 at a time. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll get me to 12 that I'm currently working on, which is great. Okay, so here is the next jar we're going to work from and pull products from. So I'm going to pull three samples. So one, it's hard for me to get down in there. Two, I'll drop one, three. The first one I have is an Atelier Cologne in Sud Magnolia. This is a dauber, which I hate, but I'll use it. From Clean, I, Clean Reserve, I have, I think that says Lush Fleur. Lush Fleur. Oh, I said Caudalie wrong. It's not Caudalie, it's Caudalie. Valerie was probably yelling at me, Caudalie. I'm sorry. From Floral Street, I have, oh gosh, Chipri Sublime. And that's the third one. Awesome. So now I'm down to 12 instead of the 16 or whatever I was working on before. And I will prioritize these two to get them rolled out. That is everything for this update. Hopefully, like I said, I get some samples done and hopefully I get more of everything done because I would really would like to work on those skincare samples. I'll take those with me traveling and work on these two, like at least two or three. I wanna get at least four of the perfumes out because then I'll be down to 10. And yeah, and the foil samples, as I mentioned. Okay, I'm babbling. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome. Oh, wow. From Juicy Couture. <laughs> wow. And lastly, from Floral Suite. No. <laughs> okay, bye.